this is one of these largish objects that kind of defeats my workspace because I'd have to move the camera a lot higher to get the whole thing underneath and then everything would be a lot smaller. But either way, uh, what I'll do here is I'll just cut to the chase and I'll start taking it to bits then. So it, this is a, I don't know if this is a clone or the, the original, I guess it's a clone. But it goes under the title on eBay of Colour Changing Boon LED Glow Nightlight and it's basically got these balls that you can remove from the end and you can select the colour in here on a little fader, a little slider at the bottom. I'll turn this round and uh, I'll pull that one out. Here is the little fader. Uh, you select the colour and as you slide that round it sweeps through the colour. But um, it's, it is quite ballistic. If you move it suddenly, it will gradually change, which means that when you think you've got the right colour, it actually tends to fly right past it. And then when you zoom it right up to the end, it just suddenly clicks into colour changing mode when it steps gradually through the colours itself. And one of the sort of gimmicks of this thing is that, you know, the, the balls are removable and they've got uh, photoluminescent pigment in them, which is the pigment that is a glow and dark pigment, basically, that stores... It's almost like a phosphor that... Uh, stores that instead of actually just converting the energy that's hitting it into sort of light, it actually stores it and then it gradually re releases it afterwards. And I have to say, initially, on the listings, it looks like a nice balls that are all smooth. I thought they were going to be big sort of heavy rubber balls, but it's hollow, empty plastic with a very obvious seam in these ones. And they'd certainly do glow, but um, one of the slight drawbacks to this is that the only colour out of the red, green and blue chip in here that's actually going to stimulate these to glow is the blue because you can't, uh, if to stimulate the phosphor you have to use a, a wavelength that's, that's a shorter wavelength, in this case the blue wavelength, to stimulate the colours down below in the spectrum. So, um, right, so let's take it to bits. I'll just pull the balls out. The pictures they show on the website, uh, or should I say an eBay site, seen an official website, if there is one, uh, they all tend to show kiddies in bed holding the little glowing balls of nightlight. I'm not convinced it's quite as good as that. It's also quite a dull light, it's not super bright. Oh, right. Oh, right, okay. First surprise. Well, let's unplug that then. The circuit board, let's pop it out, has this basically a sliding potentiometer. That's interesting. It's a, an interesting approach to it for the rotating arm, sliding that up and down. That's quite neat. Uh, let's pop this out. I? And we'll tuck this out of the way. And on the back is a voltage regulator. It's got the drive transistors for the LEDs, which have three resistors, one resistor in series with each LED channel. And then a little chip down here. Watch the bet, it's not got a number on it, as always seems to be the case. Yeah, it's the the classic anonymous 8-pin chip. Hmm, that doesn't help much. But we kind of know it's going to be a sort of pick a likey type thing, and it's going to have the three outputs driving the colours. It's going to have one input is going to be from the potentiometer. It's going to be an analogue to digital converter. It's the finish in this circuit board isn't great. The, the uh, solder resistor is just coming off. It's flaking off here. Uh, so no real surprises, I have to say. Looks like a 5 volt regulator. It's a bit grubby, quite hard to read, but I think that's a 5 volt regulator, which would make sense. And I'd guess the 9 volt from the Supply will just be going straight to the LEDs. Which it is. Okay, that's a fairly straightforward design. No great surprises there. Let's take a look at the... Let's see if we can get one of these open. Right, th these are clearly clipped in. So if I push those clips down, 
I should be able to remove one, hopefully. Is this going to work or is it going to rotate out? No, it's, it's actually it's really latched in quite tightly. This is where it could all go horribly wrong. That is really tight. It really has been clipped down hard. Um, is this going to come out without excessive force? I think I'm going to pause momentarily just while I try and work out how to take these out without breaking it. So I'll be back in a moment. I could not easily get those to unclip. They've obviously been put in with extreme force and because there's four... Uh, clips, if you will, it means it's quite difficult just to undo one without the other one clicking back in. So what I ended up doing, I ended up prizing one of the little cups out the top, and that revealed one screw holding it into this uh, part of the housing. Uh, and then if you lift this out, there's a circuit board in the back, held on with a single screw again, and it's got two 50-50 LEDs, the standard six-pin 50-50 uh, with a red, green, blue chip in each. And they're just wired in series. That kind of makes sense from the 9 volt aspect, you know, that uh, the combined forward voltage of the blues and greens will be about 6 volts. And for the red, it'll be about 4 volts. And they've, they've got different values of resistors here just to sort of match the intensities to bring them close to each other. So that's really it. It's the classic little 8 pin microcontroller. It's a little 5 volt regulator, 3 transistors for driving the LEDs, and the potentiometer with that quite kind of nice uh, arm that. Uh, hooks over it and then sort of slides it uh, as you move the arm, which is quite a nice mechanism. I quite like that detail. So yes, not a really huge amount to it. It's very straightforward. So uh, now I shall show you what these balls look like when they're glowing. Oh dear. Well, I'm cheating here. I'm using an ultraviolet flashlight to energize these uh, because they dim down very quickly. They don't hold their glow at all. Um, which is a shame. Uh, I kind of it looked quite promising. I'm uh, guessing maybe they're cheating those photos a little bit in the advertising. Uh, although having said that, this probably is a copy. So, uh, but uh, the they're just soft. They they don't have much pigment in them. They're kind of very hollow. They've got that seam. It's not so. It's not so impressive. So, as the balls fade away, that is all I have to say.